According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its, wing are, its wings are too small to get around its fat little body off the ground. The bee of course flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready, booming. Hang on a second, hello? Barry, Adam. On, you, you believe this is happening? I can't, I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs, your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card, all Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us, we'll be in row 18, 118, 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you to stop flying in the house. Hey Adam, hey Bar Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little special day, graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college, I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did it. You did come back different. Hi Barry. Archie growing a moustache looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love the incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, facility, distinguished, be distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive OT, graduating class of 915. That, that concludes our cer ceremonies and begins your career at Honex Indus Industries. <laughs> we will pick our job today. I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the trim at all times. Wonder what it'd be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of on Sky and are part of Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you're, you are, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your wildlife. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow, you know, as honey. That girl was hot, she's my cousin. <laughs> she is? Yes, we're all cousins. R right, you're right. At Hunnex, we can. Since we strive to improve every aspect of bee existence, these bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the curl man. What does that do? Oaches that little strand of honey. That hangs after you pour it, saves us millions. Own anyone work on the krillman? Of course, most bees jobs, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, it if it's done well, it means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job, the rest of your life, 
I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that babies as a specific haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. That blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? Only job for one job forever? That's an insane choice to make. To have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little well here? Too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Oak it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. Your monsters, your sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside that, the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's more pollen. Than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you're wearing it, those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two, Opal of Hive Harry's. Let's have our fun with them. You must be dangerous being a poor jock. Yeah, once a p bear pinned me against the mushroom. He had, a, he had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you, what were you, what were you dr doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today. Wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. They're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us. But maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going to 0900 at G Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on, the, on what 0900 means. Hey, Hunnex. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, that's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? So let me tell you about steering. You grab that stick and you just move it. You just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know that. The more you think about it, I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were, you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for another guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to make, he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're, you are so funny sometimes, I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. We're going into honey. Our son is the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my frox. Shave my antenna. Shuck, shuck up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. I'm on 
all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stumped bee, pouring steerer, front desk hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crud out, Stella. Wow, apple of newbies. Yes, sir, our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the crewman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the crewman just closed out. Wax monkeys always open. The crewman's opened again. Opened up again. What happened? A bee died making opening. See, he's dead. Another dead one. Deady, deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heat cooling, stunt bee, poor steerer, humming inspector, number seven, lint coordinator, striped supervisor, might wrangler, Barry, what do you think I should bury? Barry. Alright, we've got an we've got the sunflower patch in current in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out out where? Out there, oh no. I have to go before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That, that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold on, it, son. Flight decks restricted. It's okay, Lou. I'm gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here, just initiate work. Thank you, okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful as always. Watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dog bir dogs, birds, beers and... <laughs> beers. Bears and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And remember, for you rookies, be all number one. Absolutely no take, no talking to humans. All right, want positions? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello? You ready for this hot shot? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts check. <laughs> okay, ladies. Let's move it out. Pound those pinchinos. You stripped stem suckers. Suckers, all of you drain those flowers while I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger bringing it around. Stand it to the side, kid. It's got a bit of kick, bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see a politician up close? No sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over, maybe a dash over there, and pinch that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers. Flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Wool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow would be daisies. Don't we need those? Would be that visual. Wait, one of those 
One of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coal coolest. What is it? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm loving this colour. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Oh, make Awful, guys. It's a... It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Only brain get off the... the problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You always out of position, rookie. Aiming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? March point. You can stop packing up, packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowza. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow. The tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Don't fly in a rain. Don't fly in a rain. Don't fly in a rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Oak, out by new resume. I made it into a fold out br brochure. You see, folds out? Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This. Drapes! This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars. No, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted, can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B! Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know, I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value to, than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is this your statement? I'm just saying... All life has value, you don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right, bye Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night. Sure can, you know, whatever. Buy, could put corrupt kind of chips there. Buy, supposed to be less cal calories. Buy, I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, nah. Alright, here, here it goes. Nah. What should I say? What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can do it. I'm on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No. That's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this this is very dis con 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 concerning. Concern. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and 
I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Ma, Dada, honey, pick it up. That's very funny, yeah. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry without it. With, with what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, I and I get you something. Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Offy? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes me two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would like a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. I'm on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they flying up Madison. He's fine he finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says watermelon. I thought you said Guantamel Guantamala. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are we gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part of for the hive, but I don't I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with, with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there, see it? You're in a sheep meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, you all right there? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you? Own. I can... I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks, yeah. Alright. Well, then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much for the fall. Oh, that's... That's that. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, nothing but anyway. This clip can't possibly work. He's all set to go. Well, we may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat. Cr they eat crazy. Giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, Poodle? You did it. I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now, can now you can pick a, your job, pick out your job, and be normal. Well. Well, well, I met someone. You did? Was she beish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. A spider? 
are not attractive as spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So who is she? No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa, oh boy. She's nice. She's so nice. And she's also a florist. I know. You're dating a human florist? We're not dating. You're flying outside of a hive talking to humans that attack our homes. With power washers and M80s, one ate a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging, stri stripy, and that's not what they eat. That's what falls off when what they eat. You know what a owner bin is right now? It's bread and, and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up, sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them, we are us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to stop thinking B. My friend thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what's your problem? Is Barry. I gotta start thinking that, B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything all set? Go ahead, I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this, Vanessa. You're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I made a friend. Meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I, I just hope she's beige. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena, Pasadena to be a tournament of roses. That's every florist's dream. Upon a float surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering, a tournament, do, this, do the roses compete in athletic events? No, all right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have HiVo, but it's a disease. A horrible, horrible. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Ow, my dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks, but try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us, so you have to watch your temper. Very carefully, you kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, throw it out, walk through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, just, oh my god, goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save? Circular? Yeah, it was. How do you know? It fell like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue, I bet. Albert, 
What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this bee get here? Out bee, golden blossom, Ray Loter, private select. Is he that actor? I've never heard of him. Why is this here? For people we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own. Well, yes. How do you get in? How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole crew man thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And, and it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey Hector, you almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just this nice honey out with nobody around? You're busted, boy. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where you get the, the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. <coughs> the last thing we want to is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours. Now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana... Guaneco. Where is honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces. They never knew what hit them. And now? They're on the road to some... to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I'm onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska, moose blood. Crazy stuff blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. All right, uh oh. What is that? Oh no, a wiper. Trip Triple blade! Triple blade! Jump on! It's your only chance, B! Why does er everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes! Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm all castle. But don't kill no more bugs. B moose blood guy. You hear something like what? Like Tiny screaming, turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars as far as I could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey is ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We own our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You're a mosquito. You're in, you're in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito? Smack, smack. At least you, you're you out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Moose blood. I knew I'd catch you, you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. 
They are pinheads. Pinhead. Oak. Out the new smoker. Oh sweet. That's the one you want? The Thomas 3000 smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine or the tar. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey and we make the money. We make the money. They make the honey and we take the money? Oh my. What's going on here? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a, f a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazen brazenly stolen on a massive scale this is worse than anything bears have done i intend to do something oh barry stop who told us who told you humans are taking our honey that's a rumor do these look like rumors that's a conspiracy theory these are obviously doctored photos photos how did you get mix, mixed up in this he's been talking to humans what? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend, and they make out. Make out? Barry, we don't, we do not. You wish you could, whose side are you on? The bees? I dated a cricket once in so San Antonio to, to do, those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your wife. I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live in two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face? The eye? No, it would, that would hurt. No. Up the nose? That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the human, one place where it matters. Hive at five? The hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger, Sports with Buzz Larvey, and Janet oh. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Janet oh. a, tr a tri country bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the, the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B. Larry King, we'll have we have we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, The Lassie Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking about Barry Benson. Do you think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about be Umbilis, be Gandhi, be Jesus. Where I'm from, we'd never sue, sue humans. We were thinking of stick balls or candy stores. How old, how old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know what? They have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name next week. He looks like you and has a show and suspenders colored dots next week. Glasses quotes on the bottom from the guest event through you just heard them. Bear week next week. They're scary, hairy and 
he live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack, have a point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her back hand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual, actual work going on here. It's that... Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him soothe the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland size, ten and a half. The, the brim soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use this the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, <coughs> and it takes me my mind off the shop. Instead of people uh, giving balloon bouquets, now those are great. If you're free and artificial flowers, or oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent sting is pointless pollination. Bees must have fake things. Nothing worse than a den daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You, you sure you want to go f f through with it? I'm sure. When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm, I'm home without pain of royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because the f for the first time in history, we'll hear from ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? That's what she said. I couldn't believe how many humans don't work during the day. <coughs> you think billion dollars Multinational food companies have good lawyers. Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't there, the B team, you boys work on this. All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, always number 4475. Superior Ort of the New York. Barry B. Benson, 5, V, the honey industry, is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. <coughs> A privilege? Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding, yes, your honor. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of na nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy turvy world, Mr. Benson in the, in the, imagines, just think of a, what. what would it mean? It would have to negotiate with, with the silkworm for the elastic in my breeches. Talking bee, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotic ventriloquism, oldening for all we know. 
He could be on steroids, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're, we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. I I wish he'd dress like that all the time, so nice. Oh, your first witness? So Mr. Claus van der Heiden. All of Honey Farms, big company you have, I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Honbron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farm farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no, because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, Wilder Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How'd you like this? His head crashing through your living room. Biting into your couch. Spitting out through your pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? It was... It was... I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't? And so here we have yet another example of a bee culture casually stolen by a human. So nothing more than a... Prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon? M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leo Leota? First belated congratulations on your Emmy win for guest spot or ER in 2005. Thank you. Thank you. I see for your resume that you, you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what do you, what, what I do. This is a crime. Is that a crime? No, not yet, isn't it? But is this what it's come to for? What it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't? I have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't some someone just step on a on this creep and we could all go home? Order in this court? You're all thinking it. Order, order! I say. Say it, Mr. Leota. Please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team! 
Well, hello. Ken, hello. I don't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want... I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I, I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that's luckily. Lucky. <laughs> There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So, I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much of a game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Barry's was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with, with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I? You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment. But we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was alright. I'm going to drain that old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that, Italian Vogue? Mamma mia! That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember when what Van said? What is your life more va valuable than mine? Funny, I can just, I can't, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you s like the smell of flames? Not as much. What a bug not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a op stack hat. This isn't pathetic. I've I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing, am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water! That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bees and bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yoga at night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. <laughs> I'm sorry about all that. I know, it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it for well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, you've got to leave some magic with the jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The, th the only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing son, only to losing. Mr. Benson B. I like to ask. I'll ask you what I think we'd like to know. What exact? What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We are friends, good friends. Yes. How good do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? 
I've seen a B documentary or two from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the, the children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents? Oh, Barry, yes they are. Hold me back. You're an intelligent, legitimate B, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't you all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to concussion this guy. Adam, don't. Adam, don't. It's what he mean. He, it's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. Venom. The venom. It's coursing through my veins. I have been filled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They stri they're striped savages. Stinging, stings the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will order in this court. Order? Order, please. The case of the honey bees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees. Yesterday, when one of the legal team stung Blayton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I believe the whole case didn't case didn't I it doesn't matter what matters is you're alive you could have you could have died I'd be better off dead look at me they got it off the cava cafeteria downstairs is a tuna sandwich look there's a little celery on it what what was it like to sting someone I can't explain it it was all Adrenaline. It was all, all adrenaline, and then, and then, and the ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're a couple. We're just a couple of little, of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out on my. Would you get a nurse to come to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is not. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to court. The court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamer? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Where's the rest of the team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about Your Honor. Haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up, taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented two compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate bis businesses. I, I move for a complete dismissal of the entire case, Mr. Flamen. I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? A bee smoker? What? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly. 
let alone B, let alone a B. Look at what happened to bees who have never been asked smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us? To forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made slat work camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to white men. What are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I know. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will we'll finally belong to the bees. Now we. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret, you'll regret this, this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What is Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory, what we demand as a settlement. First we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we want out then we want back the honey what was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to the, gor the gor glorification of the bear as any more than a filthy, smelly, bad, breath-stinking machine. We're all aware of, of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take, take him out. He'll have nauseous for for a few hours, then he'll be fine, and we'll and we will no longer tolerate being negative na nicknames. But it's just a prince about stage name, unnecessary in inclusion of honey and bogus in bogus health products, and a la dida human tea time snacks, garnish garnishments, own to breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buswell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut it down. Shut it down? Never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Onan ball! We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Abort pollination and nectar de detail, Ret returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle all was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who, who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was, a, this was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now? Now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What do you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. oh my. They're, they're all right. It whistled. 
doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think it is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I don't think bees need needing to make honey would affect all these things. And not just flowers, fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole sat test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then of course, the human species. So if there's no pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is all partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? It just, I'll sting you, you step on me, that just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta go, I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses? Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? 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 Vanessa? Roses? Barry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Would you ask him to slow down? Would you would you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've completely made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea. It's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. <laughs> Tournament of roses, Pasadena, Olafonia. They've got nothing but flowers, floating, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business is real. It's real. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Most broach. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we'll just pick right float. What about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Wh what are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? You go under the mattresses. Not in the, this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then, all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's nothing stopping us. Stop! Security! You and your inspect pack your float. Yes? Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger, it's part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. <coughs> then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. I mean, you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Option Scott, we have a bit of a bad weather. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, 
These are cut flowers. With no water, they'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful, Owen. I get help with the Sky Mall magazine. I'd like to order the, the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Open, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say, Hole? Nothing. B! Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Or Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Good. Uh, Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B. Please report to the cockpit. <laughs> and please hurry. What happened here? There is. There was a dust buster. A toop. A life rut. Exploit a life rat exploded. One's bold, one's in a boat, they're both unconscious. Is that a, another bee joke? No! No one's flying the plane. This is Control Tower Flight 356. What's your status? Status. This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of a fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big mental bee. He's got wings. Huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't Justin Travolta a plane? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK's airport. Where is suspense or sick? Is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. He's attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew, flowers, we have a storm in the area, and two individuals at the, at the controls. With absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane? I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson, and he's no account compadres. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard of this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass makes no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by, we're going live. The, the way we work may be mysterious to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference, more than we realise to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made out of jello. We get behind our, yellow, our fellow black and yellow hello. Left, right, down, hover. F hover? Forget hover. This is... This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were, we were on autopilot the whole entire time. That may, haven't, that may have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out, move out. Only, uh, uh, our only chance is if I do what I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with the panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. 
You have to snap out of it. 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 Hold it. Why I'm on? It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello, Benson. Got any flowers for a happy occasion in in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right. Let's drop this tin can on the back black top where I can't see anything on you. On you. Know, you. No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Oh, mom. You got to think, B. Barry. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me. Like a. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. Thinking, B. What in the world? is on the tarmac. Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. We're going in on the B power. Ready boys? Affirmative. Good, good, easy. Now, that's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it round. Spin it around. Not that flower, the other one. Which one? The flower, I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. I'm a cuckoo cachu. Or is this plane flying in, in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. I'm on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where, well, of course, I saw the giant flower. I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done. We're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers every available everywhere on Earth. And that means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey. Pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me, accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock. And it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mum, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. And I help. Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is B approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. Is he a lawyer too? I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got the, this huge tulip order and I can't get them... I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Who I help? Who's next? All right, scramble jocks. This, it's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly, sure is. 
Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking, B, my friend. Thinking, B, me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone own, we stop here. I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10. Everybody wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. Okay, that's done. I've done the whole entire B-movie script with auto-tune. <laughs> with a cat on my shoulder. <laughs> okay.